Hi, this is Eula and I am revolutionizing Notion experiences. In this video, I will be giving you a tour and step-by-step -step tutorial of the Notion GTD dashboard template. If you haven't already, you can get it at eulacreations.gumroad.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting Notion content and templates. Now, let's dive into the tour. Unlike any other GTD dashboard, this template not only helps you manage tasks, but also tracks the time you spend on different areas of your life. This section displays comprehensive details about the number of pending tasks in each area, your progress towards completing them, and the time you have allocated for working on this area today, this week, this month, and this year. For instance, if you are a student, you can have a clear picture of how much time you have dedicated to studying. This data is very helpful for analyzing whether your life is well-balanced or if certain areas need more attention. Here in the callout block, you will find quick buttons to help you add tasks easily. Below here, you can see your tasks directory, which can be viewed by status and by area. You can also switch to the table view for a more comprehensive task overview, which is particularly useful when bulk adding tasks. We'll discuss the different properties available here shortly. Below the tasks directory, you will find calendar views of all your tasks, including week, month, and timeline views. Now that we have covered the tour, let's learn how to manage your own GTD dashboard. To add an area, simply click New, input the area name, and add an icon and cover photo for visual appeal. You can add as many areas as you need. Now that we have our area set up, it's time to create tasks. You can use any of the six views under the tasks directory and calendar to input your tasks. You can also use the button here to streamline the process. For this demonstration, I will use the table view so I can explain to you the different properties at the same time. Click new and input the task name. Notice the checkbox here. Ticking it flags the task as a priority, which will ensure that the task will always be shown at the top of the table. Next. The status property allows you to categorize tasks further. You can add more status options to suit your workflow. Next to the task name, you can specify the task's area. Then set a due date. Now you can see that when we input the due date, the task already appeared here in our calendar view. These properties here will then automatically display the day of the due date and the number of days left until the due date. You can add any essential notes for the task as well under the note property. Tracking the time you spend on tasks is easy. There are two ways. The first one is by inputting the duration in minutes and the start time under the duration and start time properties respectively. Now you can see here under our work area that I worked on the area for 30 minutes today, this week, this month, and this year. The next method is by opening the task. Click the start session button before beginning your task. When you're done with your task, click the end session button. The time you spent doing the task will automatically be computed. In the other views, you can also edit your tasks. Just like in the status, you can move the tasks accordingly to change the status. This is the same with the area where you can change the area, as well as the calendar views where you can change the due date. That concludes our tutorial. If you are interested in more of my templates, check them out at ulacreations.gumroad.com. I offer a variety of free Notion templates that will revolutionize your Notion experience. For updates and Notion tips, Follow me on social media and remember to like and subscribe.